A young child's recovering at home after he was attacked and mauled by a dog four days ago in Pickens County. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. The child had to get dozens of stitches, but the good news is he was released from Children's Hospital and is home now with his mom. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed is in Pickens County tonight with a reaction on this family's frightening ordeal. This is where the young child was attacked at this home in Pickens County. Now, the residents did not want to talk on camera, but the sheriff says it's a miracle this child survived. Well, it was just heartbreaking uh, uh, looking at the child uh, suffer. It had uh, wounds to his uh, ear and face. Sheriff David Abston tells us the family of 17-month-old Tanner Smith has a lot to be thankful for. The child's been released from the hospital with uh, numerous stitches, but... Uh, They've sewed his ear back on and cheek back together and it really looks good. Uh, we saw the child a little while ago and uh, it's almost a mir miraculous recovery. The victim's family was visiting friends on Friday at this home in Reform. At some point, the resident's pit bull dog attacked Tanner. The dog liked to play with stuffed animals and, uh, you know, they would play tug of war. Uh, and he liked to bite on stuffed animals. Sheriff Abston says the dog was too dangerous to be captured, so the animal was euthanized. The dog's owner will not face any criminal charges. The sheriff says there are no leash laws in Pickens County. There's no charges at this time. We're looking at the law. Uh, it may be reviewed by the next session of the Pickens County Grand Jury, but as of this time, there's no charges. Sheriff Abston says this is the worst dog attack case he's ever seen as sheriff. In Pickens County, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Speedy recovery, recovery for that little baby there. Else